What's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to be comparing Adobe After Effects' Roto Brush 2 to DaVinci Resolve 17 Studios' Magic Masks. Now, I know Magic Mask was probably meant for doing secondary color corrections, but I'm really curious to see how well it's going to go against the Roto Brush 2 as far as rotoscoping foregrounds and separating them from the background. So we're here in After Effects right now. So we have this footage here of me about a couple of years ago. I think it was maybe five years ago. It's right here. And I'm going to go ahead and start right here at maybe 410. All right, I'm going to go right there. And I'm going to go about 10 seconds in just so that we can create kind of like a benchmark, right? So there you go. And I'm going to composition settings. 29.97 is okay, although I'm going to have to change that in Resolve later as well. So 10 seconds is the duration. And this is what we're going to be working with. Now, I really want to start with this comparison really easy. Okay, like a headshot talk like this with there's not much going on. We're going to take it easy first. All right, and we'll go from we'll go from here. So to turn on Roto Brush 2, I'm going to have to double click this. I'm going to go right here. So you can see Roto Brush tool, and then I'm going to start painting. Okay, look at that. That's what my hair used to look like a couple years ago. All right, so there you go. A little spike. I'm just selecting here, and what I'm going to do is just do best here so I don't forget. And it's doing a really good job at selecting me here. Look at that. That That's crazy, right? That's amazing. All right, so it looks good. Everything looks good. Actually, the ear, let's just... Go in there, fix that a little bit. Ooh, I jacked that up, so control Z. And let's start with that, okay? So I'm gonna get my phone, and I'm gonna set a timer, I mean a, a little stopwatch, and I'm gonna press play and start at the same time. So here we go, one, two, three, start. So that's 36 seconds and 11 to finish this. And I think it did a pretty darn good job. And obviously I can't scrub through it because of the way Rotor Brush works. So I'm going to wait for this to finish. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it on top of a background so we can kind of see how it looks. Okay. And this is just 1080 footage, by the way. So that's why it's a little bit faster. So I'm going to go ahead and go right here. And I'm going to go drag and drop that. And as you can see, it did really well. And we can even tweak this if you want. You know, do something crazy like that. But 50 should be good. And then if you want, you can shift the edge, reduce clutter and all that stuff. You can invert it if you want. But that's what we're working with. 36 seconds is how long that took. All right. So that is the benchmark. I'm going to go ahead and save this for now. And let's go ahead and move over to the Venture Resolve. Okay, so here we are in the Venture Resolve 17. We have the file, and I remember my face right there. So that's where we're going to clip it in. And then we're going to go 10 seconds, similar to how we did it in After Effects. Okay, and then we also have the backdrop that we used, the desert. So let's go ahead and go to the color page. And then what we're going to do is turn on Magic Masks. It's right here. It used to be the old key icon but the key icon now looks like this so this is the magic masks we're going to click better get the eyedropper and make sure the qualifier is on and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go right here and like that okay yeah let's try this so i'm going to go grab the phone again and the record to beat is 36 seconds i'm going to reset and then one two three Right, and that was 35 seconds and 23. And let's take and let's take a look and see how well it did. So I'm gonna turn this on, and here's the mask. You can see it; it's red. And just like that, we can replace this guy's backdrop. That's insane. That is so crazy. All right. So it was a little bit faster, looked like one second faster, but the difference is this: you can scrub through it. All right. So let's go ahead and create an alpha. And then we're going to go ahead and superimpose this. All right, there you go. See the edges there? We can fix that. So we're going to turn this off. 
There you go. So you can see. And let me go ahead and scale it. So that looks kind of weird, right? There you go. All right. All right. So what can we do? We can shrink this mask. Uh, let's do a two. And then we can also blur it. Maybe go to like 50. Eh, let's do like 25. And maybe shrink it a little bit more. To like 5. That is the result of the magic masks. Obviously, like I said, probably wasn't meant for this as of right now. But at least you can see the difference between the Rotor Brush 2 and the DaVinci Resolve 17's magic masks. In a simple talking head like this. Alright? If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later.